What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make a simple dodge game in Scratch. And this is for beginners, so any Scratcher can do it. So, I'm going to call this project dodge game. And I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to call this um, score. And then click OK. So inside the backdrop, um, I'm going to create a new sprite, and I'm going to call this player. And I'm going to choose a costume here. And I want the cat that's flying. So cat flying A. Okay. And I'll also call this um costume player so inside the code i'm going to drag a one green flag clicked and i'm going to go to variables and drag a set score to zero and then i'm going to go to control and drag forever loop and then back to variables and i'm going to drag a change score by one and then i'll wait one second so what this does is that every time every second the score changes by one. So the longer you survive, the more um, score you have. So now I want the player to move up and down with the up arrow and down arrow keys. So I'm going to drag another green flag and a forever loop. And I'm going to drag an if statement and check if key um, up arrow is pressed. Then I'm going to change Y by 5. And I'm going to duplicate this, change this to down arrow, and make this negative 5. So now, as you can see, I can move up and down, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so then I want the cat to always start over here in the center um the y position center right so i'm going to drag a go to xy and make this zero so when you move no matter what you'll always start in the center of the y position okay so now we need the dodge balls so I'm going to create a new sprite and I'm going to call this dodgeball. And I have a costume from a backpack. And as you can see, it's not centered. So I'm going to select it and center it. And I'm going to call this costume dodgeball. So, inside the code, I'm going to drag a one green flag clicked. And I'm going to start creating clones. So, um, I need to hide it. So, go to looks, drag a hide. And then, I'm going to go to control and drag a forever loop. And wait, like, let's say, pick random 1.0 to 2.0. And create clone of myself. Then I'm going to drag a when I start as a clone and it's going to show and I want this always to start over here. So go to x221 y is going to be random so I'm going to drag a pick random 1 to 10 and I'm going to type in the numbers negative 100 and 100. So it will always go to a random position. Okay, so the next thing I want to add is to, I mean, I want to make it move, right? So I'm going to go to control and drag a repeat until. And repeat until the X position. So go to motion. Is less than negative 211. Then, inside here, I'm going to 
um, move eight steps. Actually, I'm not going to move. I'm going to change X by negative five. And then I'm going to go to control and drag a uh, delete this clone. So now everything should be fine and there are dodgeballs coming from one side and then they're disappearing from the other. So now we want the cat to lose lives, right? So that will be needed with another variable. So this variable will be called lives. Make sure this is for all sprites. And I'm going to set lives to zero. Um, I mean, uh, three. So I'm going to drag an if statement and check if touching dodgeballs. Then I'm going to wait until not touching dodgeball. And then I'm going to change lives by negative one. But then, if the lives are all lost, so if the lives are greater, I mean less than 1, then um, I'll stop all. So that means the game is over. So let's try this out. So as you can see, I'm losing lives, and then the game stops. But as you can see, the dodgeball does not disappear when the, uh, it hits the cat. So I'm going to... Just go to control and drag a one stars to clone and a forever loop and an if statement. I'm going to check if touching player. Then I'm going to wait zero seconds. And this is very important. Make sure you put zero seconds or else I don't think it will work. And then drag and delete this clone. So now... As you can see, the dodgeballs get hit by the cat. And if you lose all, lose all your lives, then you die. So that's exactly what I want. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.